continue the properties of relation. So the fifth property is an anti-symmetric property. So let R be a relation on set A, then R is anti-symmetric if whenever A related to B and B is related to A, then A must be equal to B. And the number of anti-symmetric relations is equal to 2 to the power of n into 3 rise to n square minus n divided by 2. So let us see how this relation, the number of uh, relations is equal to this. So if you see, the number of uh, diagonal elements will be n, which is here, n number of elements. And here the size of the relation matrix will be n cross n. So each of these diagonal elements, n diagonal elements will be either 0 or 1. So you have 2 to the power of n options for filling the diagonal elements. And the other elements which are non-diagonal elements, you are going to pair them. And for each of these uh, non-diagonal elements, you have three options. One is both can be, that is here you can observe, when A is related to B and B is related to A, then A must be equal to B. So, which indicates that this may be 0 or this may be 0 or if both are 0. So, then this is a anti-symmetric relation. So, you have three options for a pair of the remaining non-diagonal elements. So, it is 3 rise to n square minus n divided by 2. So, example suppose if A equals to 1, 2, 3 and R is equal to 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2. So, in this case R is containing 1, 1, 1, 2, 3, 2. So, suppose you take 1, 1 that is 1 belongs to 1 and uh, 1 is equal to 1. So, you can say that 1, 1 is satisfying the anti-symmetric property. Next is 1, 2, there is no 2, 1 and so it is the anti-symmetric. Next is 3, 2, so 2, 3 is not there. So, again it is satisfying the anti-symmetric property. So, therefore, this is a anti-symmetric relation. One more example, left let uh, r equals to 1, 2 and 2, 1. So, here 1, 2 is there and 2, 1 is there but 1 is not equal to 2. So, therefore, r is not anti-symmetric relation. The next property is transitive property. So, let r be a relation on set A. Then r is transitive if whenever A is related to B and B is related to C then a should be related to C for all A, B, C belongs to A. So, example suppose let A equals to 1, 2, 3 and R equals to 1, 1, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3, 1, 2, 1, 3, 3. So, here if you consider 1, 1, 1, 3. So, 1, 3 should also be there. So, it is already there. Next, 1, 1 and there is no other uh, order pair which starts with 1. So, 1, 1 is done. Then, 1, 3 and uh, 3, 1. So, 1, 1 must be there. So, it is already there. Next, 1, 3 and 3, 3. So, 1, 3 must be there which is already there. So, this is also satisfying. Next, 2, 3, 3, 1. So, 2, 1 must be there. So, it is there. Then, 2, 3, 3, 3. So, 2, 3 must be there. 2, 3 is already there. 3, 1, 1, 1. So, 3, 1 must be there. So, it is there. 3, 1, 1, 3. So, 3, 3 must be there. So, it is there. Next, 2, 1, 1, 1. So, 2, 1 must be there. 2, 1, 1, 3. So, 2, 3 must be there. So, it is there. Next, 3, 3, 3, 1. So, 3, 1 must be there. So, it is there. 3, 3, 3, 3. So, 3, 3 must be there. So, every element satisfies the transitive property. So, this is an example for the transitive relation. And there is no formula to very, uh, to compute the number of transitive relations as uh, for other example, or uh, other properties. We will see some other example problems. So, let A, B are two sets with size of B equals to 3. And if there are 4096 relations from A to B, what is the size of A? So, now they have given that 
R is a relation from A to B. A to B. And uh, the number of relations is 4096. And the size of B is 3. Size of B is equal to 3. Now they have asked what is the size of A. So the number of relations is given by is equal to 2 to the power of the size of A multiplied by size of B which is in this case 3. So which is equal to 4096 which is 2 to the power of uh, 1024 2 power 10 2 to the power of 12. So therefore size of A is equal to 12 divided by 3 which is 4. Second example, second problem let A equals to 1 2 3 and B equals to 2 4 5. Then find the size of A cross B. So the size of A cross B is nothing but the number of elements in A multiplied by number of elements in B. So which is equal to the size of uh, A cross B will be 3 cross 3 which is 9. Find the number of relations from A to B. So how many relations can be formed from A to B? So it is 2 to the power of 9. 2 to the power of 9 because number of elements in A cross B is 9. So each of the element may be present or may not be present. So it is 2 power 9. Find the number of relations on A. Again it is 2 power 9 because A cross A size is 9. So it is again 2 power 9. Find the number of relations from A to B that contain 1 to and 1 5. So here 1 2 and 1 5 must be present in all the relations from A to B. So you have totally 9 elements from A cross B out of which these two must be present. So there are remaining 7 elements which may be present in this relation or may not be present. So you have two options. But whereas 1, 2 and 1, 5, they are present. So they are 1, 1. So you have only one choice for these two. Whereas for the remaining 7 elements, you have two options. So it is 2 to the power of 7 into 1 to the power of 1, which is 2 power 7. Next one, the number of relations from A to B that contain 5 ordered pairs. So here, it could be any 5 ordered pairs. So there are totally 9 5 ordered pairs out of which I have to select only 5 ordered pair. So therefore the answer is 9 choose 5. Next is the number of relations from A to B that contain at least 7 elements. So at least 7 means exactly 7 or 8 or 9. So it is 9C7 plus 9C8 plus 9C8. 9. Next, number of relations from A to B that contain either 1, 2 or 1, 5. So, here the relation may contain either 1, 2 or 1, 5. So, it is, answer is, if it may, if it contains 1, 2, so it is 2 to the power of 8 or it contains 1, 5, again it is 2 power 8. And it contains either of these two means either 1, 2 or 1, 5. So it is 2 power 8. Number of relations from A to B that contain this is either means either 1, 2 or 1, 5. So it is 2 power 8. But here it is 1, 2 or 1, 5. It means either 1, 2 or 1, 5 or both 1, 2 and 1, 5. Therefore, it is 2 power 8 which contains 1, 2, 2 power 8 which contains 1, 5 minus 2 power 
7 because which contain both of this is 2 power 7 which is to be subtracted. So it is 2 power 9 minus 2 power 7 which is 3 into 2 power 7. <coughs> Next. Let A equals to 1, 2, 3, B equals to 2, 4, 5. Then find the relation R1 on A such that x, y such that x is less than or equal to y. So it is the relation from A cross B. So if you see that A cross B will contain 9 elements and out of those 9 elements you have to pick the elements which satisfies x less than y. Those elements will belong to R1. So, your R1 will be 1, 2, 1, 3 and 2, 3. Anything missing? Uh, again, I think you have. Only this because here R1 is a relation on A. So, the elements uh, of uh, a cross A will be 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 1, 2, 2, 2, 3, 3, 1, 3, 2, 3, 3. So, therefore, R1 contains 1, 1, 1, 2, 1, 3, 2, 3. Next, R2 on A such that X comma Y, X less than or equal to. So, less than will also be there and also equal to that is 2, 2, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3 also will be added to R1 to form R2. Next is R3 on A such that x comma y x greater than or equal to y so this is nothing but first element must be equal to the second element or it must be greater than the second element so 1 1 2 2 3 3 will satisfy x equal to y and 2 1 3 1 3 2 will satisfy x greater than y next write the properties of each of the relations r1 r2 and r3 now you can observe R1 for reflexive. Is it reflexive? So for reflexive says that for every element A, A comma A belongs to R. But here 1 is an element of A but 1 1 is not in R1. So it is not reflexive. Next is it irreflexive? Irreflexive says that for every element A, it should not contain a comma a. So, here it is not containing such elements. So, it is irreflexive. Coming to the next property that is symmetric. If 1, 2 is there, 2, 1 should not be there. 1, 3 is there, 3, 1 is not there. Uh, three, uh, actually, it is uh, symmetric. 1, 2 is there, 2, 1 must be there. But here it is not there. So, it is not symmetric. Next is asymmetric. Asymmetric says that if 1, 2 is there, 2, 1 must not be there. 1, 3 is there. 3, 1 must not be there. So, it satisfies. 2, 3 is there. 3, 2 should not be there. So, it is asymmetric. Next is transitive. So, 1, 2 and 2, 3. So, 1, 3 must be there. So, it is satisfying. Next, 1, 3. There is no order pair which starts with 3. So, it satisfies. Next, 2, 3. And there is no order pair which satisfies uh, uh, there is no order pair which uh, violates the transitive. So, therefore, R1 is transitive. Next is antisymmetric. So, antisymmetric says that if AB is there and BA is there, then A should be equal to B. So, here 1, 2 is there, but 2, 1 is not there. Next, 1, 3 is there and 3, 1 is not there. Then 2, 3 is there, but 3, 2 is not there. So, therefore, it satisfies the antisymmetric property also. So, likewise, you have to verify R2 and R3. So,